These are some of the flies I tied to get ready to fish the weaver today. But a lot of times the fly isn't the most important thing. It's the accuracy of your cast and the correct drift. Hi, I'm Mickey Anderson from Fish Tech with this week's fishing report. We've had a really good day today and these flies have worked, but it's because we put them in the current. You've got to pick the currents. You see how tiny some of these seams are. You've only got to spot this wide and you've got to drop your flies into that. The accuracy really helps. Your good rod's going to help a lot. If you're not casting into it, try shortening up your leader and making it a little bit heavier. That'll make it easier to cast. Now putting the flies in the hole, a lot of times I use two flies. I want both the flies to land in the same speed current. If one lands too fast, the other too slow, they're going to drag each other out of the hole. I'm going to reduce the space between my flies and bring them in so that both flies land in the current. Now with the drift, fishing a little skinny bank like that one over there, the Euro rig is definitely the best way to go because the fish are going to hit it quick as soon as it's in the water with the Euro rig you're tight already. Some of these holes today are big back eddies like this one we're standing in and the holes are too deep to fish with the Euro rig and too slow. Your flies are just going to go right down and stick. And that's where an indicator might help. And you might want to adjust the depth and see if that'll help to give you the perfect drift. Hey, hopefully these accuracy and drift tips will help you catch a fish like this. For these tips, a whole lot more coming on the fish tech will help you out. And now for tonight's fishing line.